Okay, so here we go again. This is my Yanmar 3HM35F marine diesel engine. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the fuel system, and in particular I'm going to focus on the priming pump. In a little bit later video I'll give an idea about how to bleed the fuel system. But um, just real quick, I want to focus on this is the priming pump. It runs on a cam inside the engine. Right down here we actually have the flipper. This flipper operates the priming pump manually. If you if you were able to see in here, there's an arm that sticks into and on a cam, and as the engine rolls, it does the same thing, except a lot more times per minute. So when you're going to bleed your fuel filter, this being the engine's primary fuel filter, and uh, when you go to bleed it, when you change out the filter and you go to bleed it, this really helps you out. It gives you an opportunity to just prime the fuel. And then a little bit later, if you're bleeding your high-pressure injector pump, you can uh, crack this fitting here, and while it's cracked, pump your little flipper, see your fuel squirt out, get all the air out, and you're done. I happen to have a uh, one of those pumps, a spare one, sitting here, and I'm not going to be able to operate it two-handed, but you can see, in fact, you can even hear that it's uh it's operating so this this is the part that rides on the cam and it's held in there with two bolts and as it's roll as it as it's riding you've got a rubber diaphragm there so like i said it's doing the same thing if i can get the right orientation on it as just moving the flipper uh this being your fuel in and this one this one being your fuel out now the critical part about this is this little rubber diaphragm right there in the two halves it can actually degrade over time. The fuel can degrade it, additives in your oil can degrade it, additives in your fuel can degrade it. It gets hard, it cracks. And then, you see this part here? This is right open to the engine crankcase. So it's pretty critical that you keep an eye on your oil sump level because if you see it going up, there's a good chance this might be causing it. There's really only two things that can get in your oil. One is the coolant, and that's a glycol-based, uh, fresh, what they call a freshwater coolant and you got fuel and if it's coolant you're going to see it because it's going to be milky it's going to turn the oil into a milkshake looking and if it's fuel it's going to make the fuel real it's if it's fuel getting in the oil it's going to make the oil real real thin and you'll probably be able to smell it on the dipstick either way you're going to see the oil level go up it's critical that you, you catch that um, you can really uh, wear out some bearings pretty quick if uh, if you've got either one of those conditions occurring uh, again this is uh, my three HM35F Yanmar Marine Diesel Engine, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.